Hey everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to make the clapper animation using a micro bit. So could you please open a um, Google search engine or anything that you're going to use where you would like to activate going to the internet browser. Um, any, any browser is fine and supported. Um, and if you can see here, um, what we're going to do is in along the search bar um, where it says Google, we are going to go to the website which helps us program the micro bit which is called Make Code dot com. So here we just have makecode.com and once you type that in and then hit enter, it will take you to this website um, and from here we're able to code. Now we'll go through this more in depth within our session but we just want to give you a quick tutorial to make this um, viable for you. So if you click on the picture of the micro bit which is on the far left um, you can click on this picture and that will take you to the page to help us get started in terms of the program. Then you'll notice there is a purple edition icon on the far left which says new projects and we're just highlighting it here. If you click on that, it'll prompt you to give your project a name. So we're just going to give this uh, project name to simple animation. Uh, you could also just call this clapper animation and this should give you what you need here. Now, once you've entitled your project, please move over to where you'll see the little green create box. Once you type the create, this will take you to the code editing window. So there's a lot of things to note here on this page, but you'll see that there is on the far left, a picture of a micro bit, which is much more than a micro bit. It's actually an interactive um, simulator, which allows um, students and educators the ability to code without having the need to own a physical micro bit. All these um, names and icons along the middle that are different color codes are what we call drawers, and each one of them serves a different function. Now for this given project, what we actually need to do today is um, create an animation based on light and sound. So what I'm gonna have you do is first click on the on start block, and how you delete a block is by simply clicking on it and dragging it over top of the drawers until where you see this garbage icon appear. As soon as that icon appears, what this really means is you can simply let go and your block will be deleted. Now you can do the same thing for the ever, uh, forever block or to get rid of it, you could also click on it and hit delete on your keyboard or right click or if you're using a Chromebook, two finger tap, and you'll see the option to delete a block that way as well. So we just wanna highlight that there is multiple pathways to success for how to delete these things. Okay, so once your screen is completely clear, we want to basically create this uh, animation of a clapper. So really what that means is when we clap our hands, we want to have an animation that appears. So how you do that is where you see the fuchsia colored input drawer, which is right there and we'll highlight that. If you click on the input drawer, we are going to get you to scroll down until at least where you see this micro bit V2 section. And right below the micro bit V2, you'll see the on loud sound block. Can you click and drag that anywhere onto your code editing window? And I'm just gonna make this a little bigger so you can see. And you can see those icons giving you the ability to zoom in and out in the bottom right hand corner. And so this means when we have a loud sound, something is going to happen. So to create your animation, go to your blue basic drawer at the top and click this. And if you scroll down three until where you see the show icon heart, you can now insert the heart inside of the loud sound. And it'll snap together just like so. The reason we've chosen a heart, you could change this and that'll be one of the extensions. But if you hear a loud sound, you might be startled and your heart rate might increase. Uh, so now we also have to have something when we're not having a loud sound. So we're gonna just basically mimic this process again. So go back to your input drawer and you're gonna scroll down again until you see that micro bit V2 and then where it says on loud sound, click and drag a second on loud sound block but change from loud, do you see this little drop down arrow right to the right of it? See the little drop down arrow? If you click that, you can change it to on quiet sound. Basically mean in the absence of sound. So what we're gonna add here, rather than a show icon large heart, we're gonna add a show icon small heart. 
So once again, click on your blue basic drawer, scroll down to your show icon heart, click and drag that inside of the on quiet sound. But then that little drop down arrow next to the right of the heart, you're going to click on that and go to a small heart where your heart is at rest or at peace. Maybe you're sleeping at this given time like REM sleep. And now here is the code to successfully do this. Once you've successfully downloaded your code, you can actually test it out by clapping or making loud sounds. Um, and when you clap, you should see a picture or animation of a large heart. And when it's quiet at rest, you should see a picture of a small heart. And you can test that out on the simulator on the left by you moving this little toggle bar. So when we bring it above to a loud sound, to mimic a loud sound, a large heart will come. And when we bring it to a faint sound, you will notice a small heart. I hope this is helpful and please let us know if there's anything else you need.